Welcome to Professor Tushun Center. Remember to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel, both Professor Tushun Center. Uh, today we are looking at a question which came in 2020 GCE under uh, simple machines. Uh, we understand that there are different types of simple machines. Is a pulley system, is an inclined plane, they will give you a crowbar, they will give you a wheelbar. But today we have been given a uh, a pulley system we can go through the question together the question leads figure b3.1 below shows a pulley system so this is the pulley system the first question is state the velocity ratio of the pulley system shown in figure b3.1 above so how do we get the how do we state the, the velocity ratio so to, to state the velocity ratio, you just say velocity ratio is equal to number of tensions or number of wheels. So we have two tensions. This is tension one. tension 1 and that is tension 2 so tension 1 t1 tension 2 t2 or oh, the number of wheels this is wheel 1 and the other one is wheel 2 two wheels two tensions so graph velocity ratio is equal to 2 it is a ratio so there are no, no units we can move on to b our b is if the efficiency of the pulley is 75 percent what is its mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage or we can say efficiency efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage over the rest ratio times 100 percent okay so Our efficiency is given to be 75. We are looking for the mechanical advantage. Velocity ratio is, is known to be 2 times 100 percent. So we can, we can put a 1 there, we cross and multiply. So it will be 1 times mechanical advantage times 100 going to give you 100 percent mechanical advantage which is equal to 2 times 75 which is equal to uh, what is 2 times 75 which is uh, 150 so divide both sides by 100 Remember, there is a percent E, which is 75 percent. 2 times 75, which is 150 percent. There is a percent, so we divide both sides by 100 percent, so that percent, percentage and percentage goes. This 100 percent and 100 percent goes. We have mechanical advantage is equal to 100 into that one, which is 1.5. So our mechanical advantage is 1.5. You have to know that mechanical advantage mechanical advantage is always less than the velocity ratio so if the mechanical advantage is equal to to velocity ratio just know that you've been given an ideal simple machine the simple machine efficiency is 100 when mechanical advantage is equal to velocity ratio so velocity ratio is greater than or equal to mechanical advantage velocity ratio is never less to mechanical advantage is never less than mechanical advantage. The rest ratio is always equal to or greater than mechanical advantage. Then if you have a situation whereby the rest ratio is equal to mechanical advantage, just know that the, the machine is ideal. You've been given an ideal machine which is 100% efficient. Okay. We can move on to the last question. 
The last question is, if the load is 120, what is the size of the effort? The size of the effort. So if the load is 120, what is the size of the effort? Just say, load is equal to, or you can say, mechanical advantage is equal to load over effort. From there, you can make this one the subject of the formula by putting a one there equation multiply to b effort represented by e okay let me put e mm -hmm. let me put l there so e and the mechanical advantage which is equal to the this is equal one just to balance up the fraction which is l our load you divide both sides by mechanical advantage So, effort is equal to load over mechanical advantage. So, this is wasting time. I was just showing you all this, but whenever you see mechanical advantage this side uh, as an inverse of effort, you just exchange them. Mechanical advantage goes there and effort goes on top. The load was given to be 120. We have the mechanical advantage of 1.5. So our effort, our effort is in 120 divided by 1.5, uh, which is 80. So our effort was 80 percent, which makes sense. So 80 newtons, 80 newtons, which makes sense. This is a load. A load is of 120. Effort is supposed to be less than the the load for it to be called a simple machine. Uh, the definition of a simple machine is that a simple machine is a device. Any device that simplifies our work. Any device which whereby you can apply a minimal force to overcome a huge load. So this one has made it to be what a simple machine this scenario whereby the effort is, is less than the, the load thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to our youtube channel professor tuition center and like our facebook page professor tuition center see you on the next question